Okay, so we're going to go for another little run of this ET6 hit and miss engine. Uh, made a few little alterations. Put it on this little base because uh, the water leak made the uh, old box that it was on uh, just swell up. It, <laughs> it ruined it to be brutally honest. Uh, so we've just made up this base for it and um, we sorted out the water leak. Uh, that was just really a case of taking the liner out of the block here and then just generally resealing it with a fine bead of silicon. And I think I'm also probably going to make a, uh, a good change to the way it runs as well. I noticed when I was putting it back together that this head bolt um, here uh, it doesn't really serve any purpose to hold the head down. If you tighten it down like the others, it will pinch it to a point where this exhaust valve doesn't even open. Uh, so this is now much more slack and uh, means that when the governor flicks out, it actually properly engages with this little part here, uh, which should mean that it misses more often, in theory anyway. So we're gonna fire it up now and just see what she runs like. working much better. So we're just going to uh, oil the engine up now and go for a longer run. So yeah, we can see by loosening off that head bolt there, we've made a dramatic difference to the way it runs. With the engine not leaking with coolant now as well. It's all running pretty nice. cool as well. Gonna leave her running for a little while. 